What the is a scully tip? I hope you stick around and find out. Hi, I'm really glad you could join me today. Anybody who's been modeling for any length of time, whether it's model railroading or any other kind of modeling, has picked up some tips and techniques along the way. And that's what this series is about, just to pass along some of the tips and techniques, the ones that have helped me, and maybe they'll help somebody else. So why the name Scully Tips? Unless you're from Pennsylvania and probably the eastern part of the state, or immediate South Jersey, you probably have difficulty pronouncing my channel name. The problem is the Y is silent, and Y usually isn't a silent letter. So I get a lot of phonetic attempts, like Shoyokil or Skoyokil, which make perfect sense. They're just pronouncing all the letters. The first time I went to one of Sparky 107 107's live chats, he came out with the most unique pronunciation I had heard. It's the first time I heard somebody reverse the L and the Y. And he came out with Skullykill. I don't know, maybe he thought I spelled the name wrong. So I guess you could say this is a little nod to Sparky. Maybe a backhanded one. But don't worry, Dave. The royalty checks will be in the mail. Okay, so on to the first Scully tip. A month or so ago, Boxcar Benny from Creative Rails posted a video on modeling with straws in which he showed some of the items that he's created out of regular drinking straws. I left a comment on his video with some of the items that I've created over the years. Benny liked them and suggested I created a, a video about them. So here you go, Ben. These are just three quick detail items that I've made from straws. Let's have a look. I'm probably aging myself, but there was a time when baskets like these were everywhere. I don't know if that's wicker or rattan or maybe hemp, but these came in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes they were light colored like this one, sometimes a darker tan. I thought this would make a good waste basket for a detailed scene. The bendy part of a flexible straw is perfect for this. I simply cut the bendy part to the length I want and paint it as desired. I wouldn't bother with a bottom, but I would add some small pieces of trash. This one I painted in the darker tan color. Looks like somebody missed the trash basket. And here's one more, a wicker waste basket. I actually thought of this while I was making this video. I'll just use a regular sized straw and a piece of flexible fabric band-aid to represent the wicker. Peel away the gauze padding and wrap the band-aid around the straw, then cut it to size. I think it makes a believable wicker basket, although I would paint the inside to match the outside color, or maybe just leave it white and call it the trash bag. And I've saved the best for last. For the picnic core, I'll use the larger milkshake straws. I start with a piece of wood, in this case balsa, that is just slightly too big for the straw to fit over. I round the corners a bit with a hobby knife and sandpaper. Now I can slip the straw all over the wood. I then cut a length of straw longer than I need. The idea is to mold the straw into the shape of the balsa wood. To do this, I'll use my heat gun. Fair warning, the straw will go from softened to melted and misshapen in the blink of an eye. 
you really have to pay attention to it. Once I've warmed the straw, using a paper towel to protect my fingers, I press the straw against the wood while it cools. I repeat this process several times until I have the shape I'm looking for. Then I simply cut it to be the height of the core I want. I don't expect the ice to melt and run all over the place, so I won't bother to put a bottom on this. You could cut a piece of styrene to represent the top, but unless you leave it open, it loses its effectiveness. Besides, many coolers have removable tops anyway. I could call it finished at this point, although looking at the zoomed in image, I think I'll clean up that edge first. Painting is optional, as coolers come in all colors. Although I think I'll use a rattle can and spray paint this one white, and fill it with some refreshing beverages. Here's the finished cooler. Help yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please share it with other modelers. And give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Until next time.